So now that we've made our handmade clay, I wanted to show you some of the little bit of, I guess, problems that come with it sometimes. So if your clay is a little bit moist and you try to roll it on a table, sometimes it gets stuck. So I just wanted to show you that I'm gonna roll this out just like I taught you. And I put it on a piece of paper and I'm just gonna rotate it and get it to the length and size that I want. And then I'm gonna show you how to remove it from here if it is, if you want to. So I rolled a really big piece now and, sorry. So I rolled a pretty big piece and Usually we want to pick it up this way, but if we do that, it stretches too much. If you don't want it to stretch, you pick it up and then you remove the paper instead. And it got stuck there a little, so I'm going to remove from the opposite side. And that's how you get a pretty good piece. Now, um, that's for bigger pieces and that works for smaller pieces. And that's in case it has a little bit extra moisture, which is good because it won't crack. But, um, but you know, if it's too much, then it gets stuck. So that's how you do with it. Now you can start working with it. You have your big base piece, so you can start attaching stuff to it. You can start cutting it and shaping it to whatever you want. Remember, I cut by pressing a little bit and kind of press as I cut instead of pulling. Because if you pull, you stretch out the clay too much. And uh, you might not want that, so you shape it to whatever you want your form to be. And then you can start working with your piece. I always lift it before I start cutting. Because when you cut, you kind of restick it. So it's a good idea to lift the paper back and forth a little bit to get your shape. Here's another problem that you might run into. Is that um, if you had a piece and you grabbed any kind of template and you put it on top and you cut it. Sometimes when we cut it, we misshape it. So it's a good idea to press with a straight edge on your edges and get your pieces back where you want them. Just remember that if you start stamping after you cut, you might um, mess up your shape a little bit if you were wanting a super exact shape. So that's another thing right there. So use some kind of straight edge to reshape it. Let's see, another little, see it got stuck because this one was really wet. So if I try to remove it like here, I'm really gonna mess it up. So I'm just going to flip this over, kind of hold it, and remove the paper instead of removing the piece. So I'm just going to, oops, there we go. I'm just going to set it over to dry. Uh, here's another thing. When you put them to dry, the pieces that you want to dry separately for whatever reason, when you put them to dry, they will get stuck to whatever plate or board or whatever you use, they'll get stuck to it. So it's you got to kind of shimmy it to kind of remove it. And this is already drying on the outside, so I'm going to flip them over so they can dry on the opposite side. So you don't want to let them dry like this because they'll get stuck and it'll take way longer to dry. So you do want to flip them after they've been drying for like, you know, 24 hours or like half a day. You know, just flip them the next day so they can dry on the outside. Also, um, 